video I will show you a quick tip on how to use uh, weighted normal it's a modifier located here like the other modifiers weighted normal so I have this uh, coffee table it's somehow a very low poly so it is low very low poly because I'm I'm using EV and uh, I want the you know want to have some good performance but with the u using this um, method, having only low poly and not using the subdivision surface modifier, you have some weird shading. To um, to avoid this, you need to add bevel. And most of the people add bevel and let's add it. So directly when adding bevel, we see some changes. Let's select angle and. I do four. Uh, let's keep it simple. Two. Two segments. Okay, as you can see, when I s uh, look around, it looks. Well, it looks great. I think that uh, this is it. But I want to show you how how, it, um, how the reflection is in this object. And how important the uh, the shade the shading is, even if you can't uh, uh, you can't uh, really see any if there is any problem. Let's go to the uh, EV and just wait for a few seconds. Okay, there we are. Okay, as we s we can see, we have the coffee table and it has very high amount of reflection, almost like a mirror. But as you can see, the reflection is not normal. And as you can see from the reflection, you can tell that the coffee table is not flat from the top. But it is actually flat in the, uh, when I model it. I know that it is flat. But in the reflection, it looks doesn't look flat. So at this point, this is where the uh, weighted normal comes handy. Okay, as you can see, the reflection is still the same. Everything is the same. Um, here we have a message: enable auto smooth option in mesh settings. So let's go and enable the auto smooth. Please look at it in the normals. Auto smooth. Yeah, let's set the angle to 120 because we are using the 180. We are using bevel, so we don't need any uh, any uh, specific angle. So we let the uh, uh, the uh, weighted normal do everything. So as we enable the auto smooth directly, we can see the changes. See the difference? Huge difference. The reflection is now flat. And correct table looks flat and everything looks fine so uh, this is a huge difference and uh, very important um, really affects the uh, the look of the table and adds some uh, realism to this scene okay this is the quick tip that I wanted to share with you that's it for today. By the way, you can apply each modifier. I don't like to apply them, so maybe I will change them my mind. I'm setting the bevel, so I will simply keep them. And when I want to um, export the meshes to another program like Unreal Engine or Unity or any game engine, I, I need to apply, or I apply it when I export. And also you can apply the uh, weighted normals, you can apply it like this and the results, it will, um, um, it will preserve the, the uh, shading effect, or the shading. So this is the tip that I want to share with you, and I hope this was uh, helpful. See you on the next video.